Hello, I'm Alex Androvet. I'm a partner at Chappie Order and I'm actually leading the regulatory center expertise. Think about it. Sarbanes Oxley, Dodd Frank, Basel 1, 2, 3, Volcker Rules, Mifid, IFRS 9, etc. That's the reality of the financial services industry today. The pressure is high either from the crisis uh, that we saw like in 2008 or directly from the consumers. This is a market that will always be regulated and new regulations will always be requested. Uh, to be successful today, the question is not would it be regulated, but more how and when. What is essential is not to limit the regulatory answers to the compliance. This is the road for failure. Actually, you need to perform an analysis and interpretation of the operational and business impacts. The regulation not only have impacts on compliance, but also on processes, on systems, on change management, and can sometimes even have impacts on the direct strategy of the company. Clearly, winners will be the one that adapt their business quicker. Also, transform the new regulation into opportunities to be better positioned on the market. Do not focus only on the compliance aspect of it, but also look at the operational and business impacts. And last but not least, is also to get to the dimension of the local and global markets to help to find out some kind of cross-regulations interplay and synergies that could manage them their mother world. There are clearly three things that could be implemented to uh, be better prepared. The first one is to anticipate. Be sure that you're linked with the regulators, be sure that you're linked with the politicians, and be sure to anticipate the new regulations that are coming. The second one is to create regulatory centers not only to implement it, but also to be able to transition it into the business as usual. And last one is also to, do, to perform a strategic review of the regulatory capital, funding, liquidity management, to be able to fulfill these new rules and restore profitability. Mm -hmm.